Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over what the maximum loan forgiveness amount is for the PPP payroll protection program. First, I'm going to go in what the loan characteristics are, what the maximum loan amount is, and then we're going to go into what the maximum forgiveness amount is. So I'm going to use this slideshow to help me out. The maximum loan amount is 2.5 times the average monthly payroll of the business. So they just use average monthly payroll as a figure to figure out the total loan amount, even though some of the expenses might not be payroll. So the loans will be 100% guaranteed by the SBA. The availability of credit from other sources does not disqualify eligibility. There are no application fees or closing costs. Um, there's no collateral required. All that's needed is a credit check of the owner. The maximum interest rate is 4%. The maximum loan term is 10 years. Um, the first six months, the payments will be completely deferred. That can be extended up to one year with a simple uh, phone call. And 100% of the loan can potentially be forgiven. That isn't going to be the case for everyone, depending on what your eligible business expenses amount to, but we'll definitely get right into that. So, 2.5 times the average total monthly payment of payroll costs during the one year period prior to the loan date. Payroll costs include wages, tips, vacation and sick pay, group health benefits, severance, retirement benefits, state and local taxes on employee compensation. What is excluded is compensation in excess of $100,000 for individual employees. So if you have an employee who makes $200,000, you are only eligible for $100,000 in return on this loan amount. And the FFCRA paid leave is excluded as well. So onto the loan forgiveness. Forgiveness is equal to the amount of qualifying expenses incurred in the first eight week period after the origination of the PPP loan. So the qualifying expenses include payroll expenses, rent and mortgage expenses, and utilities. The forgiven amounts are not taxable. This is a question that I keep getting asked. If you get, let's say, $10,000, you won't have to pay two, dollars $3,000 in tax on this, and the forgiven amount is interest-free. And 100% of that loan can be potentially forgiven. So here's a loan example. Um, let's say this company has $900,000 in annual payroll. The eligible loan amount is $187,500. You get that by taking $900,000 divide that by 12 and multiply it by 2.5. In this example, the first eight weeks of the loan, the company incurs $150,000 in payroll, $8,000 in rent, $2,000 in utility. So that means that the qualified expenses for this business is $160,000 and the loan forgiveness is $160,000. So they received a loan for $187,500, but the amount of business expenses was $160,000. So that means that this company would still have $27,500 that's repayable to the SBA over the next 10 years with an interest rate of 4%. Still a pretty darn good deal, and this might vary based on you know, your business, might be more or less uh, percentage-wise, but it's definitely something that you wanna look into, especially if you've been impacted by all this chaos going on. So there is a forgiveness reduction factor that might limit the amount of forgiveness you can receive on this loan. In order to determine what that is, you take the average number of full-time employees during the first eight-week period after the origination of the loan and divide that by the average number of full-time employees during the eight-week period that is in reference to this. And that gives you the forgiveness reduction factor. There is an additional potential reduction to forgiveness also if you reduce individual employees by more than 25%, there is a reduction in forgiveness by a dollar by dollar amount. So anything more than 25%, each dollar less will lower the forgiveness factor by that much. This excludes any employees who made more than $100,000 per year. So here's an example with limited forgiveness. Um, going back to the business above, um, they would receive $160,000 in eligible expenses they got rid of five of their 20 employees, so that's a forgiveness factor of 15 divided by 20. And then they reduced three of its employees' pay by $5,000, each in excess of the 25% threshold. That, so that deducts an additional $15,000 off of this total. That means the adjusted forgiveness amount for them is $105,000. So basically, they want to 
incentivize people to keep their employees, keep the pay there, not get, a, get rid of people and not lower pay too drastically and you'll be benefited thusly for that. And in order to apply for this, I have a whole separate video that will go over exactly on how to apply. This is actually a little bit outdated. You can apply online now and I will link to that video as well. It takes about 10 minutes to fill out the form. So if you're interested, you can check out that video there. But now you have a better idea on what the exact forgiveness amount potentially is here. This is an awesome program and I think it's going to help out a ton of businesses. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Another program is available that is in converse to this PPP loan. You can only choose one or the other. And I will also have a video comparing these two programs. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. And until next time, hope you have a profitable day.